Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. New armored vehicles incorporate the latest advancements in protection, mobility, and firepower technologies. They feature advanced armor materials, reactive protection systems, and active defenses to enhance survivability. With powerful engines and versatile suspension systems, they ensure mobility across various terrains. Armed with a range of weapons including cannons, machine guns, and missiles, they offer formidable firepower. Today, we want to show you the 10 newest and most interesting armored vehicles in the world. Cockerill IX The Cockerill IX, Interceptor and X for Modular Multi-Weapon System, is an armored fighting vehicle manufactured by the Belgian company John Cockerill. The 4x4 vehicle has stealth capability. The vehicle is capable of moving at very high speeds on-road and off-road with a thermal or hybrid thermal electric drivetrain. Light, stealthy, appearance management with adaptive camouflage and modification of IR and acoustic signature, integrating multi-sensor data fusion technology, smart helmet, onboard intelligence AI, cameras, sensors, LWS, acoustic gunshot detection and localization, and capable of integrating a suite of effective weapons such as 25mm, 30mm missiles and rockets rockets, depending on the threat to be neutralized, as well as to foresee the integration of a new generation of effectors. Other striking innovative aspects concern the weapon system, which will be completely retractable to ensure its stealth and speed. The vehicle will be quickly transported by air, sea, and land. At the end of 2023, it was reported that the Interceptor vehicle was presented to the Belgian Army at the John Cockerell Group headquarters in Belgium. Cobra 4 Private armor vehicle manufacturer Striat Group officially launched the Cobra 4 light armored multi-role vehicle on February 21, 2023 at IDEX in Abu Dhabi. With over three decades of experience manufacturing life-saving defense machinery, the organization has become a leading expert in multifunctional peacekeeping solutions. This new versatile vehicle is a modern adaptation of the company's proven Cobra model with a focus on fusing urban transportation, law and order capabilities, and impressive off-roading military endurance. The Cobra 4 is best suited for special operation forces, anti-terror groups, and tactical intelligence teams in need of urban driving capabilities. The vehicle is powered by a 3-liter diesel V6 engine with 225 horsepower. The 80-liter tank enables long stretches of usage, and the automatic transmission permits easy driving. Despite its smaller size compared to other armored vehicles, the Cobra's armoring range is still Stanag 4569 Level 2. If needed, the Cobra 4 can be fitted with a 360-degree traversing turret and is suitable for vehicle-borne assault system installation. VN-17 the Chinese-made VN-17 tracked infantry fighting vehicle was developed to meet the requirements of modern infantry units. It offers high levels of firepower, protection, mobility, and communication systems for multi-purpose operations. The performance of the VN-17 is comparable to the German Puma, the Swedish CV-90, and other modern foreign-tracked IFVs. The main armament of the VN-17 consists of a 30mm automatic gun, one coaxial 7.62 machine gun, Red Arrow 12 anti-tank guided missile launchers mounted on each side of the turret. The advanced electrical-driven unmanned gun turret assures the highest safety of personnel during combat. The VN-17 is also equipped with image-stabilized fire control systems with automatic tracking capabilities. The VN-17 is motorized with a four-stroke water-cooled turbocharged diesel engine developing 883 horsepower. The power-to-weight ratio is 21 kilowatts a ton, offering a maximum road speed of 43 miles per hour or 70 kilometers per hour. The VN-17 armor provides all-around protection against firing of small arms and shell splinters. The turret and vehicle hull offer the same level of protection and can be upgraded to NATO Stenag Level 6 protection capability. Borsuk. The Borsuk is an amphibious infantry fighting vehicle produced by Huda Stolowa Wola, a part of Polish Armaments Group. It is designed to replace the BWP-1 that has been in service with the Polish Armed Forces since 1973, but is now obsolete. The Borsuk's modular structure not only provides good ballistic protection, but also offers the flexibility to replace foam displacement modules with heavy armor panels. This adaptation would allow for further increased ballistic protection, albeit at the expense of amphibious capability, and increase in the vehicle's weight. The vehicle can accommodate a crew of three and carry between seven to eight soldiers. 
The Borsuk's main armament includes a 30mm cannon, capable of firing 200 rounds, and is also equipped with a Spike LR anti-tank guided missile. A 7.62mm machine gun completes its arsenal, providing a defense capability against infantry threats. In terms of mobility, the Borsuk is powered by an MTU 8V199 TE120 diesel engine, developing approximately 820 horsepower, which allows it to reach maximum speeds of 43 miles per hour or 70 kilometers per hour on the road, and 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour in water. PARS Alpha 8x8 the PARS Alpha 8x8 is a new generation armored fighting vehicle with enhanced tactical and combat capabilities that meet the current and future needs of the armed forces. FNSS, a Turkish armored combat vehicle manufacturer, unveiled the AFV at the World Defense Show held in Malham, Saudi Arabia in February 2024. The PARS Alpha 8x8 can accommodate a crew of 12 members, including three in the roles of gunner, driver, and commander, and nine others in an infantry fighting vehicle configuration with the remote-controlled turret. The protection and life support systems of the vehicle feature high levels of ballistic, mine, and IED protection classified under Stenag 4569. The main armament includes a 30mm or 40mm chain gun and a dual-feed automatic cannon, which can be replaced with a 30 or 40 millimeter barrel. The secondary armament is a 7.62 millimeter machine gun or a 7.62 millimeter chain gun. The PARS Alpha can reach a maximum road speed of 71 miles per hour or 115 kilometers per hour, creep speed of under three miles per hour or five kilometers per hour, and can cover more than 500 miles or 800 kilometers in range. Patriot 2. The Patriot II is a new protected mobility vehicle by the Czech company Excalibur Army, which is part of the Czechoslovak Group, or CSG. It is an upgraded variant of the Patriot 4x4 medium armored tactical multi-mission vehicle. The armored vehicle can be used by the armed and security forces to perform reconnaissance and patrolling tasks, asymmetric warfare missions, and for carrying weapon systems for light motorized units. The protected mobility vehicle can accommodate a driver, a commander, and six troops. It features an air conditioning system to ensure smooth operations in extreme temperatures. The armored vehicle is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 20mm automatic cannon. Its design enables the carriage of a manned turret with up to 14.5mm caliber machine guns or a remote control weapon station with cannons up to 20mm caliber or grenade launchers. The mine-resistant, ambush-protected class vehicle offers up to Stanag Level 4 ballistic protection and Level 3 mine protection. The Patriot II can attain a maximum speed of 68 miles per hour or 110 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 434 miles or 700 kilometers. XM-30 the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle is a U.S. Army program to replace the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The vehicle is one part of the next-generation combat vehicle portfolio of programs. The XM-30 is engineered to deliver a decisive advantage in close combat situations. It enables U.S. Army infantry squads to detect and eliminate targets beyond the enemy's reach, thereby enhancing the survivability and effectiveness of U.S. ground forces. The vehicle's integration with maneuver robotics and semi-autonomous systems further augments its battlefield prowess. Artificial intelligence is used to operate the Lynx XM-30 with two crew members and a third virtual crew member, who will scan an area, identify potential threats, and notify the crew. Infusing AI into the XM-30 combat vehicle increases situational awareness and survivability. Team Lynx is designing an infantry fighting vehicle to address threats on current and future battlefields. The Lynx XM-30 incorporates Raytheon's weapons, sensors, artificial intelligence, and system integration expertise. It provides an advanced, modular, and combat-ready solution that gives soldiers a decisive advantage for decades to come. ACV-30 On February 1, 2024, BAE Systems announced the delivery of the initial production representative test vehicle of the Amphibious Combat Vehicle 30mm Cannon, or ACV-30, 8x8 amphibious armored vehicle to the U.S. Marine Corps. This development is viewed as an important addition to the Marine Corps' capabilities, aimed at enhancing direct fire support for dismounted Marines. The ACV-30 is equipped with a 30mm RT-20 remote turret system manufactured by Kongsberg. The remote turret eliminates the space requirement of legacy lethality systems. 
It provides more space to transport troops or mission essential equipment and reduces weight for better mobility. The ACV-30 is one of four variants in the ACV family of vehicles. The vehicle offers improved survivability features such as blast-resistant hulls and energy-absorbing seats. It protects the occupants from mine blasts, improvised explosive devices, kinetic energy warheads, small arms fire, and shell splinters. The power plant provides a maximum speed of more than 65 miles per hour or 105 kilometers per hour on paved roads and a maximum amphibious speed of 7 miles per hour or 11 kilometers per hour. The maximum road range of the armored vehicle is 324 miles or 523 kilometers. AMPV BAE Systems is developing a new armored multi-purpose vehicle or AMPV to replace the existing M113 family of vehicles that have been in service with the U.S. Army since 1960. The vehicle can be customized into multiple configurations based on the mission requirements. It is being developed in five variants, namely General Purpose Vehicle, Medical Evacuation Vehicle, Mission Command Vehicle, Mortar Carrier Vehicle, and Medical Treatment Vehicle. A sixth variant of the vehicle will also be developed to replace the engineer variant of the M113 vehicles at echelons above brigade. The one-man open turret of the AMPV can be installed with a roof-mounted protected weapon station housing 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine guns, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The all-welded aluminum hull integrates enhanced underbody protection for increased survivability. Explosive reactive armor sheets fitted in front and on either side of the hull offer protection against grenade launchers and guided ammunition. The vehicle is expected to attain a maximum speed of 38 miles per hour or 61 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 224 miles or 362 kilometers. Inguar 3 The Ukrainian defense company Inguar has unveiled its latest armored combat vehicle, the Inguar 3. The Inguar 3 is an MRAP class armored car equipped with a Deutz power plant with a torque of 1500 Newton meters and a power of 356 horsepower. The transmission is the automatic Allison. The ground clearance of this armored vehicle is 450 millimeters, which together with the systems of centralized automatic tire inflation ensures high cross country ability, the company notes. Even if the tires are damaged by bullets or debris, the run flat wheel inserts allow the crew to keep driving. The armor of the monocoque capsule hull is combined. Aluminum elements reduce the overall weight of the armored vehicle while maintaining the level of protection. Stenag 4569 Standard Level 3 against kinetic energy threats or common machine gun and sniper rifles. And Level 3A against landmines. The list of tasks it can be suited to is wide. From personnel or cargo carrier to a mobile brimstone launcher or chassis for barreled artillery systems. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the armored vehicles you like the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.